Today I will show you how to synthesize hydrochloric acid. For this you need salt and sodium hydrogen sulfate which is sold as pool pH decreaser. Here is some salt. And here is an empty test tube which will be the reaction vessel. So I'm going to take a small amount of salt. You can scale this up. About 2 grams of sodium hydrogen sulfate reacts with 1 gram of salt to produce 0 0.605 grams of hydrogen chloride. Here's the sodium hydrogen sulfate. And I'm adding around an equal amount to the sodium chloride, which is the salt. And that's the chemical term for table salt, sodium chloride. Now that I've added the sodium hydrogen sulfate and sodium chloride, which is the chemical term for table salt, to the test tube, I'm going to mix the two. To get best results of hydrochloric acid, make sure that the two salts are thoroughly mixed. This will result in the two salts contacting each other and reacting, giving off the most hydrogen chloride which could be possibly produced. So I've added a rubber stopper with an angled glass tube to my test tube with the sodium hydrogen sulfate and sodium chloride and that is going to be directed into some distilled water. There's my alcohol burner. Because the reaction between sodium hydrogen sulfate and sodium chloride is endothermic, which means it takes heat as they react, you need to heat the mixture to get them to react. So I'm using an alcohol burner. You can use a Bunsen burner or even a lighter. I've sped this video up because it takes a bit of time for the hydrogen chloride to be produced and bubbled into the water. You can see the contents in the test tube is rapidly bubbling and the water is rapidly bubbling too. You can also see there was a white vapor, which is hydrogen chloride vapors mixed with water to form hydrochloric acid vapors. Here's the final product. Using more chemical in the test tube which produces hydrogen chloride or using less water will produce more concentrated hydrochloric acid. I've moved everything inside. This is my hydrochloric acid, which I made. I've tested it with some things like zinc powder and even sodium hydrogen carbonate and it hasn't seemed to get a reaction out of them where zinc powder would form hydrogen and sodium hydrogen carbonate would form carbon dioxide. This means that the hydrochloric acid I made is very weak. But I still made a slight concentration of acid. To show this I'm adding some litmus solution to a beaker with water in it. Litmus solution at a pH of neutral is usually purplish blue. When an acid is added to litmus solution, it becomes red. When a base is added to litmus solution, it becomes blue. If you want to make more concentrated hydrochloric acid, use more chemical or less water than I did because the hydrochloric acid I made is very dilute. It's probably because I didn't heat it long enough. As you can see, the litmus solution is turning red from the hydrochloric acid being added to it. Here's my homemade hydrochloric acid in an amber glass bottle. In an upcoming video, I'll show you how to determine the concentration of your hydrochloric acid using a titration. Thanks for watching.